Hi, Ann. Hi. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Jelena. Hi. Jelena. Uh, hi, Jelena. Hi, Marilyn. Hi. How are you? <laughs> okay. It's so good to see you. Yeah. You all do. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. You hiding over there. Hey, Cheryl. Cheryl. You know, <laughs> you know me in modern technology. Yeah. <laughs> Marzella. Hello, ladies. How y'all How's doing? everybody doing? Good. All right. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, how you doing? Hey, Jessica. Hi, Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 It's so nice to see everybody. This is awesome. Okay. Let's just wait a few minutes for everybody to get checked in. This is so incredible, getting us all together this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Jelena, what time is this it for is you all? So uh, now it takes a clock in the evening. Jelena, what time is it? As you can see, it takes a clock in the Hi, Tiffany. Hi, everybody. Hey, Ben. Oh, my God. It's so nice to see it's you. Right? It's so nice to see everybody. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. I am so happy we're doing this, right? People are checking in. This is on fire. Listen, I am celebrating my birthday. And for me to be on this Zoom this morning is a God. It's, it's on God. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. God, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. The margaritas set in. It was, it was, it was it. So I need to work this all this off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. okay. We have all these beautiful people here, some that I know and some that I don't know, right? So you guys, welcome to the Shrink Your Waist in Seven Day Challenge. I am so excited. Who's pumped and ready to shrink your waist, right? Who is pumped and ready? Yes. To waist? So let me tell you something. Like, so we all go through stuff, right? We go through all kinds of stuff in life. And what gets in the way of our success, let me tell you, is emotional immaturity. It's emotional immaturity. Because once our emotions get in the driver's seat of our lives, right? then anything goes, right? And you just forget about your goals, you forget about your plans, and you just start defaulting into self-destructive behavior. Raise your hand if you've ever experienced that before, right? Raise your hand if you've ever experienced when your emotions got the best of you and you started eating and missing workouts mm -hmm. and just like yes. all, all off of your goals, right? So this is part of the reason why we're all here, right? Because we want to make, create a change for ourselves. So the number one thing that we get to do during this challenge is manage our emotions, okay? Manage our emotions because it's the emotions, right? That will throw you off your game. 
It'll throw you off your game every single time. So part of it is emotions. And the other part of it is having the mental capacity to stick to a plan, right? Having the mental capacity to stick to a plan. Because a lot of us, like we have plans, right? And what happens? You don't stick to them. Right. So you start off gun ho like, yeah, I'm going, let's get it. Right. Day one, day two, day three, life starts to happen. And then all of your plans go out the window. Right. And what happens is that's how you get end up on the hamster wheel of life. Right. And so the reason why, like I, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody who showed up last week to the feedback session. Right. Because the reason why we're doing this actually, because all of you that showed up and gave me your feedback and let me know how important the challenges are to you, the coaching is to you, because life goes like this. Mm -hmm. It goes like this and we need each other, right? Mm -hmm. We need each other. So this is why to say, you know what? We need to do this challenge and just open it up for everybody. We need each other. I need you guys just as much as you need me, right? There is not, no one that needs each other more or less, right? Because you guys motivate me, right? You guys motivate me to get up and get it done every morning, right? This is why I always teach, right? I always <laughs> teach because I need that motivation from, from knowing that I have that accountability, right? So in this challenge, we get to be accountable to one another, right? That means like your energy is felt. So if we were on this Zoom call right now, right? You see all the faces. How many people see all the faces on the Zoom call, right? Isn't it beautiful to know that everybody's here? What if people just started dropping off the Zoom call right now, right? What if they just, you just saw them start disappearing? Wouldn't that affect your energy, right? You would notice their absence. You would notice, even though we're not in the same room, energetically, we're together. You would notice their absence. So when you sign up for this challenge, right, your presence matters. You, your presence matters. So being on the site saying, yes, I did it, posting your food, congratulating one another, right? Being on the lives, cheering for each other, showing up, getting it done, it matters. Not only to me, but to everybody that you see here. So it was just like if everybody just started fading off, it would affect your it would affect your energy, right? Even though it has nothing to do with you. That's what I mean about we're better together, right? So my goal is for all of us to rise to this challenge to the best of our ability. To rise to this challenge so that we can complete it together. Somebody, everybody mute their phones for right now because somebody has some external air. Um, maybe from walking or something like that. Okay. okay. So um, so here's how it goes. I want to show you a couple of things. I'm going to share my screen with you guys so that we can be in excellence on this challenge. Some of you are new and you might be finding a hard time navigating your way through the site. So let me share my screen with you and um, just show you how to access everything. Okay. Um, so one thing that I want you guys to do, which makes it a lot easier, is that you can, whenever you are on a Zoom and you want to go to a new tab, you see this plus button right here. You hit the plus button, right? And then you go to bookmarks. When you bookmark the TRFC, everybody has this. When you bookmark it, it's so much, it's quicker to get there, right? You don't have to go shopping around. You know, it took me a long time to figure that out. That's why I'm telling you guys. Some of you guys might know this. Some of you may not, but it could, it's helpful when you want to bookmark things that are important to you. So if you see here on the menu side, right? So there's some of you that are members who have ha access to a lot more stuff. And if you're a guest member, you might not be able to see everything, but everybody should be able to see this topics, right? Everyone can see the topics and you click on the topics and you'll see the shrink your waist and seven days challenge, right? So this is the challenge where everything is going to happen, right? Everybody can go to your site when you sign in the tier, if you have a free account or if you're a member, you just go to topics, you go to shrink your waist in seven days and you click on it, right? And when we click on it, we have um, all of these posts where it says share what's on your mind. We can see everybody here who's doing the challenge. And look, people are already, now you see how exciting this is? Like, That's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that, Jennifer, right? <laughs> Thank you. you know, your food because people go, oh yeah, I gotta go shopping, right? So Jennifer, you're on it. So when, and listen, let me tell you guys something. 
when you guys do that, this is how I get to know you. When you show up in your own life, you show up in other people's lives energetically. So without even knowing Jennifer, I'm saying, I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna go, who's this girl? She's on fire. She's committed, right? Cause I see she came in, she did her grocery shopping. And when you see that, listen, in the world, there are so many distractions out there. You're watching TV, there's fast food stuff coming your way. You're driving down the street, you see your favorite restaurant, you see all this stuff. This gets to be the visual that we are energetically in relationship with. So when you guys do this, you are, you are basically spamming each other's brains with healthy information. Right. So when you guys post your food, you're like, yeah. So when you have a choice of either eating this uh, with your with your team or going off and eating something else, you're going to stay with the team. Right. So when you check in here, we have these motivations. Look, she's got her breakfast. She's got her avocado toast. Did you like it? Right. That's oh, it was delicious. I, I loved it. Yes. That's my yes. favorite recipe. OK. <laughs> and so so now you also want to put your before picture because that is a commitment. You guys, when you do your before picture, sometimes people don't like to do that because they don't believe the only reason why you don't post your before picture is because you don't believe that you're going to be successful. Hey, y'all. Uh, huh? Because you don't post your before picture because you think you might fall off. And you don't want to be embarrassed. So when you post your before picture and you say committed, you know you're going to be looking forward to those results, right? So post your before picture because it's motivating, right? Not only is it motivating, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so wow. much for showing up. Okay. So let me see how we close it out. Okay. So then we have, listen, we have Charmaine is in here on fire. Somebody else is Zivi's avocado toast. Chocolate doll is back in the house. Yes. All right. So listen, you guys. Every day, every day, we're going to have a workout on YouTube, okay? So when you go to the events, this is where we go to our live workouts. You go to the events, right? You see, this is our calendar. I want you guys to get used to going to the events to find out what's happening. So right now, we're on this call. You guys all found it. Tomorrow, we have the live YouTube workout. Now, not everybody is going to be able to be on the live. I get that. But you can still do the live that day right? Once you do the live, you go back in and check in and say, hey, I did the live, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I think I might even put like a sneak word in there that you guys need to post, right? So then we'll know that everybody did the live, right? So you do the live. But listen, a lot of you raw stars, right? There's some raw stars here that have um, been with me for a while. And we like, you know, we're going to be doing 20 minutes on YouTube, which is going to be amazing. However, um, we like to work out for an hour, right? So for that reason, we have um, the live workouts available and extra credit. We have a pre-recorded workouts for extra credit. So you see today, you can do the extra credit workouts. Now, if you really want to get bomb results, then I suggest you do the extra credit workout. If you have time as a limitation and you're just getting started, I want you to feel 100% full of joy that you're doing this set challenge at 20 minutes a day, you're doing awesome. But if you've been on the TRC, if you've been working out for a while and you really wanna get some serious results, do these extra credit workouts, you guys. There's gonna be a new one popping up every day. And the good thing is, is that you can do that at any time of day, it's already there for you, right? It's already there for you. So as we're in here, we have, you guys can all check in. Um, here are some questions that you may have. Some here, it's, it's free. Okay. Um, then on Wednesday, we have a hump day motivational Zoom. I want you guys to come to that too, because on Wednesday is the day when those emotions start to take over, right? And you're like, oh, you know, I don't know if I can do this. And, you know, maybe I'll do it next time. Or, you know, something can get in your way, all this stuff. So look, we have Bianca, we have Jelena, we have Hanan. We have Shireen. So when you do this, see how motivated it is? And, the, and we have some ingredients here. So we have some recipes here for the Greek salad, for the avocado toast, the celery salad. You guys make this. This makes you go to the bathroom like crazy, right? Makes you go to the bathroom like crazy. There's a vegetable soup, cauliflower rice. And here's the other thing. Post pictures of your food, right? Post pictures. See, Jennifer posted a picture of her toast. Zivi posted a picture. Post pictures because that is our menu. This is our menu of the day. So when you see that, you want to be like, oh, okay, yeah, that looks good. I want to try that, 
right? Or let me see what I can do. Put my little touch on it. Maybe I'll add a little salad with it. You know, just post your menus to get people motivated motivated right so that's it motivated is when you see something and, and and you have the desire to do it too okay so we have the food plan on here we have um let me see we have the grocery shopping let's see the before pictures here here is your grocery list and here is your food plan and let me talk to you guys about the food plan okay i said we i prefer you guys, listen carefully. I prefer that you do no meat, no chicken, no fish, nothing on this food plan. I put fish on there as an option for you guys because some people have the mentality that if they don't have some protein that the world is gonna come to an end, right? So I, the reason why that I want you guys to go um, meatless, especially no red meat and chicken is because it is slow to digest. And meat takes a long time to digest in your stomach, right? And if you eat it sometimes with other foods, usually with flour or some kind of like, even some vegetables that create a little gassy, right? It causes inflammation in your intestines. And we wanna do the opposite of that, right? We wanna decrease inflammation of the intestines. So when you eat meat, it actually slows down your digestive process. We have seven days to okay. get excellent and be excellent, right? So you, you have a choice to eat the fish, but I prefer that you choose the, the plant-based options, okay? And I say plant-based because we always want to eat our food in the most natural form as possible. Mother nature knows best. Mother nature knows that the food that she has that grow off the trees and that you can pull from the ground, from the earth, are the best foods for the human body right? Those foods are designed, if it's a banana or an orange, it's an apple, it's designed for you to eat straight like that. That's, that's the intention of nature for us to be um, uh, nourished and us to have the vitamins that we need, the energy, everything in what mother nature provides, okay? The other thing is we don't eat cheese or cream, right? Because that causes mucus and inflammation. They have a beautiful, which I'll post if you want. They have some vegan cheeses, which I don't want you to do too extensively, but there's one called Vital Life that I'll post like that you can use to sprinkle on your avocado toast, which I discovered, which is amazing. You can use that and a little bit on your Greek salad, but, and that's usually made from cashews or something like that. So you want to make sure that you don't eat cheese because cheese, number one, what does it do? It gets gooey, right? It's gooey and sticky. Well, what do you think happens when it gets inside your body? It's gooey and sticky and it slows down digestion and it creates mucus in your body. So for these seven days, our idea is to cleanse the pipes, cleanse the pipes. So we don't want anything clogging up the pipes, right? Next thing is water. Water, water, water. Now you can cut some fresh lemon and put it in your water. You can cut some fresh oranges, put it, you can even throw some berries in your water to make it look pretty. But water, water, water. Why? Because your body needs water in order for the metabolic processes to function. It's like oil in a car, right? So if you know, have you ever, if everyone been driving and the, and the oil light comes on, right? You know, the engine is in trouble. Right, you know, stuff is to start to break down without oil. When it doesn't get to the carburetor, to the transmission, it's first, it first starts running funny and then it shuts down. That's our body without water, right? So without water, I'm not talking juice. I'm not talking, so I'm talking water, H2O. Your body needs it for your metabolism to function at its best, right? Are you guys hearing me? Your body needs water. Now you should have your CCC FFF tumbler on hand. And this is why. Every time you see that, you will hear me saying, drink water, <laughs> drink water, drink water. You should have your tumbler on hand. And I recommend that you drink eight of those. And I like, I like ice water, right? So I like that sound of the ice shaking in there. That motivates me. And I like to drink out of a straw. So that's why we, I promote the tumbler, right? That's just me. So um, water, water, water. 
not coffee. Why? Because coffee dehydrates you. Coffee takes the water out of your body. Now, why are you drinking all this water and getting dehydrated at the same time, right? I know some of you guys may be very, very into coffee and you might have a hard time with it. And you might even have a headache a couple of days because you're addicted, right? So what I recommend is that you can drink herbal tea, right? Herbal tea. If you really want that charge, you can drink some black tea, which does have caffeine, but it's more herbal. And you can also uh, chew some fresh ginger. So get some ginger, boil it, slice it and chew it. That helps you get rid of the headache if you have a detox coffee headache. Okay. Alcohol, right? Alcohol. Have you ever seen like when you alcohol, you get kind of swollen, you've been drinking, you get swollen right here, you get puffy on your eyes, you get puffy on your stomach. Well, what's the name of this challenge? Somebody unmute the challenge and tell me what the name of the challenge is. Shrink your waist. Shrink your waist. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> so your goal is to shrink your waist. Does alcohol shrink your waist? Somebody no. answer. No. <laughs> no, no, no. So that's what I mean. Like you can't be duplicitous in your goals. Like I want to shrink my ways, but I want to drink alcohol. Those two things are not BFFs, right? So let, get rid of your alcohol. Focus on this one goal of shrinking your waist, right? Shrinking your waist. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop the share to see if anybody has any questions or anything coming up for them. Any questions, comments or whatsoever. Just go ahead and shoot. Question to me. Mm -hmm. So you said no cheese, I understand it, but what about the feta cheese you recommended? Why why could we have the feta cheese? I recommended the the, the vegan feta cheese, which I was talking about. Oh, the vegan. The okay. bio life. And I'll post a picture of it um, on the TRFC. It's a okay. vegan one called Bio Life. Huh? Okay. All right. Anybody else? Yes. Um I don't I don't eat I don't eat till oh, I don't eat till later because of the just my digestive disease. So I'm not able to really eat until later. And um so what because I'm doing a plain oatmeal. So okay. what um would you suggest like as toppings? Because I'm not able to have flax seeds. Okay, seeds. can you have chia seeds? Yeah, I, I can have chia seeds, brown chia seeds. Okay. Do with the chia seeds. And you guys, I, I believe, I'm a firm believer in intermittent fasting. So you don't have to eat early in the morning. Like that whole thing, like it doesn't work for me. And I believe it serves a lot of people. If you eat between the hours. It doesn't work for me. I believe it serves a lot of everybody people. Everybody mute, everybody mute between 12 and 7. Everybody mute, please. And then when you have a question, you can unmute. Between 12 and 7 are the hours that I like to eat. It gets me the best results, right? It might be different from other people. It could be 11 to six. It could be one to eight, but shrink the hours that you're eating. Don't just be free range, free willy eat whenever you want to eat, right? This is like, just don't do that because you're going to open yourself up to a ton of empty calories. Okay, Yvette. Um, hi, Tiffany. First of all, I'm so happy to see you. Yvette's um, a friend of mine from way back. I haven't seen yeah, her yet. Yes. We used to She's work also out. a bomb actress. She's a famous actress. Go ahead, girl. Come on now. Thank all you. All right. So <laughs> well, I'm glad I had my birthday, Margarita. We got that out the way. Yeah, we got that out the way. <laughs> so I um, take a certain medication that I can't eat grapefruit. I don't know something in okay. the grapefruit. What would you suggest that I pair that with? And I just started doing intermittent fasting. I do 10, 10 to 8. And okay. it does work. I, I, I do like that. Um, but what is there something else with the boiled eggs that I can do, replace the grapefruit with? You can do sliced avocados and tomatoes. Does okay. that work for you? Mm -hmm. Or you can do... Uh, avocado toast. Yes. Or you can also do, if in, in place, the reason why the grapefruit is good, and it's true, if you take high blood pressure med medication, That's lemon amazing. and grapefruits do not, I'm glad you brought that up. They don't react well with high blood they they actually in impede the high blood pressure medication right so then you can have uh sliced apples okay the reason why i like grapefruits because they have something that helps your body burn fat but so do apples right so apples are a really good option as well right okay and the chia seeds you mentioned um I know, noticed they're putting them in water. Can you, do you do it in water as well? Yeah, so like some people like to drink the chia seeds, which is the chia seeds are really healthy because they're very fibrous, right? And if chia seeds, if you want to think about something that, um, like, you know, when you have a pot and you want to clean it and you, and you have the smooth, 
just the dish rag and it's not working. And then so you go get the scrubber <laughs> to clean the pot. That's what seeds and flax seeds and high fiber too. That's the scrubber. That's the scrubber. So what we want to do is we are cleaning out, we're scrubbing. So chia seeds that you can mix it with water. You can have chia seed pudding. I don't know if I put that on there, but um, that's like chia seeds with almond milk and fruit. And it becomes sort of gelatinous and, um, and, and it's really good at eating. It's very high in fiber. Is there okay. a particular brand um, or any type? Just get an organic chia seed so that it doesn't have, uh, yeah, whole foods, uh -huh. Any other questions, you guys? Thank you, Yvette. Yeah, I have a question. This is Charmaine about bread. Is there a specific kind of bread or a certain kind of bread? Okay, wait, let me find you, Charmaine, because I want to see your face. Wait, where is it? How do I move it? Over? Well, I'm not, I don't have the video going because I'm driving. Oh, okay. All right. Because I want to find you guys. This is exciting for me to see you guys, right? I like to see <laughs> you. All right. So, okay. So is there a specific kind of bread? Whole grain bread. The best bread, if you want to be like really on point, is the Ezekiel uh, 369 bread. It's a very whole grain bread that doesn't have gluten in it. I'm, I'm, be, I'm like a teacher who's really strict, who's mm -hmm. being not so strict right now. Like if we were on the TRFC, I'm super strict. It's like no bread, okay? But right now you can do the Ezekiel 3.9. You can do a whole grain bread. You can do a gluten-free bread. Um, but the, the point is that you're having one piece of bread. And that's because okay. I want you guys to be successful, right? I want you to take out the story that this doesn't work for you, right? Because it will work. It absolutely will work. Okay. I have a question. It's chocolate. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Good to well, see you. Welcome back. Is, <laughs> my rap stars miss me. I miss y'all so much and I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so no, all just aside, right? So, you know, I went past my goal. You know, my goal was to be like 175, 80. But, you know, stress and anxiety took an extra, and the manager yeah. took an extra 30 pounds <laughs> off of me. How can I get the weight back? Because right now I'm 140. But I want to quit your mind getting up to that 175, but I want it to come healthy. Okay. So I would recommend that you eat highly nutritious foods because you like eat avocado toast. If you want to gain weight, then instead of one, you have two, right? You have bigger salads, more nuts. You, you can increase your caloric intake if you want to gain weight, okay? And make sure that you're doing the exercises that that put tension on your muscles to help them build up, right? Um, but you don't just start eating whatever just because you want to gain weight because that's an unhealthy weight gain. So you just- oh, Yeah, I did that. I had to get my life back together. I did that. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the unhealthy. You just, just eat more of the healthy foods. That's how you do it. All right. Any other questions? Tiffany, I have one, a question. I'm not a, yeah. I'm not a breakfast person. I okay. mean, it's like, I'm- I take that back. I'll eat breakfast for dinner. I don't, I'm not a breakfast food person. I'm like lunch, dinner, da, da, da. Do I now have to implement the breakfast with, um, with the challenge or? No, no, you do not. You can stay, you can stay into your, your intermittent fasting. What I don't want, the reason why they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, that's almost like you make a glass of milk every day, right? It's not true for everybody, right? Milk is not good for your body. And you don't always have to eat breakfast in the morning, right? Because they say that to, um, stimulate your metabolism. But if you wake up in the morning and you're having pancakes and sausage and everything, that's not serving you in any kind of way just because it's breakfast. What you don't want to do is let your body start getting too hungry, right? Because when your body starts to get too hungry, you make poor choices. So you guys hear this. So when your body gets hungry, it's almost like your, your conscious smart brain just gets turned off and your two-year-old brain gets turned off right? Can everybody please meet, mute your phones? So when you get too hungry, your conscious brain goes, bye-bye, right? And, and your two-year-old brain, which is, I want what I want what I want it, right? Starts taking control and you start eating whatever's in, in your sight. So that's the reason that you want to prepare your meals, prepare your meals, know what you're going to be eating, eat, you know, before you get hungry. Eat before you get hungry. Don't wait till you're starving to eat because you've already gone on short circuit, right? I'm not a breakfast person, never have been. And actually a long time ago, um, 
wow, this is probably, this is what happened. Cause I used to teach at 6 a.m. in the morning and I, it was so early for me. I couldn't, I couldn't um, eat before that. And someone told me this called like, uh, I forgot, in Ayunas in Spanish, I think. But like, if you eat, if you work out before you uh, eat, you actually burn more fat, right? So I started doing that and it totally works. Right. So some people find it difficult because they feel like they have low, low blood sugar and things like that they need to eat before. That's OK. So listen, you guys, you get to figure out what works for you. But when I did that and I always do that, and I just I love it so much. Like I like to work out on an empty stomach and then I eat after that. OK, so then you're here in Ayunas. Thank you, Tita. <laughs> I know I know it's I know it's fast in Ayunas. OK, so can I, uh, can I piggyback off of the blood pressure question? OK, so what I'm noticing is because I take blood pressure medicine for my brain pressure. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm noticing is, is I'm becoming dehydrated and it's affecting my veins. I'm drinking water. It's not helping. Nothing is helping. And he's saying I'm at the beginning of very close things. What can I do to help with the hydration? I would say try electrolyte water. Okay. Try electrolyte water. Okay. And then also water, on, you know, all water is not created equal. There's alkaline water, right? And if even if you drink like the Dasani water, that's water made by Coca-Cola. It's just filled with old water from the thing. It doesn't have like yeah. the spring water. So also like okay. drink spring water, alkaline water and electrolyte water. So Poland Spring and Deer Park, they're fine. Huh? Poland Spring and Deer Park, they're fine. Polish Spring. Can everybody mm -hmm. mute, please? Somebody's got mm -hmm. some Polish Spring. Poland and Deer Park. Yeah, the one with the bear. Okay. Yeah, if it says spring water, it's better. I'm not familiar with it. They're not all right there. Okay, Deer Park. Okay, see, I don't really drink that. I mean, we have different ones out here, but spring water over um, filtered water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do the filtered or purified. Yes, or purified. Yes, that, 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 um, if I can share with uh, Chocolate Doll, I, I love this. This is Trader Joe's, and it has the um, alkaline and electrolytes. Ah, it's really, really good. What, I, what is it? I'm sorry, them kids is loud in the background. What is the name again? <laughs> it's Trader Joe. It's Trader Joe's. It's electrolyte, um, alkaline, and water. It's got both. All and of that in one. You see, post that. Take a picture of that event. Okay. That's supportive. That's what I mean about we're better together, you guys. We're better together. Yeah. Sometimes we have information. So I said, get alkaline, get um, electrolyte. She found one that's all together. Beautiful. We support each Beautiful. other. Beautiful. Trader okay. Joe. That's awesome. Trader Joe. Yes. Okay. Who's that? Is that Miami Mia? Yes. Hey, gorgeous. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm getting emotional talking to you because I've been with you for the last like 10 plus years. Oh my God. Remember, I think I was like 21 or 22 when I first discovered you wow. and I was on the road that I really thought this is it. Like, I, I don't think do this and I think I stuck with you with uh for six months and I've had the best results um like you are probably the foundation to my family. and I truly mean I want to thank you but also um sorry I didn't realize gonna get so emotional talk um every time I've fallen off the wagon I've always turned back to you wow so I want to thank you for that for always showing up for us wow. and being a pillar of support and foundation for me i love you so much i love you too oh my god thank you so beautiful so anyway I, I i just wanted to come on here to tell you that um i just love you so much um back then i didn't have children i have two kids of my own now and like the fact that you still come on here and you show up for us and you do say, I love some of you. And, um, I feel like you'll be a part of my life forever. Wow. And 
Thank you so much for, you know, I have my notes. Like I, 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 have, I see tons of fitness gurus, but I, for some reason, always gravitate towards you and um, just seeing you shine. And I know you're probably going through so many things. I always have you in my prayers and I love you and I will always support you because I feel like when, when we're going through a lot, even internally, we turn to certain people that can uplift us again. And you've always been that for me as a 22 year old girl and I'm 32 now. And wow. um, just thank you so much. That's oh, that's so powerful. Thank you so much. You don't know what that means to me. And it's, 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 it, it touches me to my, my heart is so full, you guys, because you don't know how many times I'm like, does it matter you know, if I'm many here? Times we say, you're our angel. You're living, walking, <laughs> talking angel. I told you that. I appreciate it. But you know, even for me, sometimes I'm like, does it matter whether I go on YouTube or not? Like, does it really make a difference? You know, there have been times when I ask myself that. And there's been times when I've been struggling on, you know, the, the time and the commitment for YouTube. But after the pandemic, I recommitted, right? But hearing you, hearing your stories and your love makes me like, it puts me on fire in ways that you can never understand. Like I get lit up. I, my hair stands up. Like what else can I do? How much you, more can I give when it makes a difference like that? Yeah, hmm. you changed my mental. Like, honestly, I had no idea uh, what that even meant when I first met you, when you, you said it's not about the weight will come off, you know, it's what's inside your mind. And I have never heard that term before. It's something so you had, you, d I discovered that through, you know, wow. what it is, you know, like mentally shift that uh, momentum and start loving yourself and accepting yourself. And that's where the change will happen. You yes. know? And, oh. and in that from you and I look up to you so much and I know you're such a smart woman you're a lawyer but still you're you know you're a fitness guru and I just I just admire you so much because of all that and I would truly take into consider consideration what you have to offer you know so I just wanted to thank you and come your, your, your thanks and your gratitude has been deeply and well received I appreciate you so much thank you thank you hey. Okay. Tiffany, you don't realize that just, I mean, if on days like where you have been, like maybe you, you come on later or something for whatever reason, we go into a panic. <laughs> That's how important you are to us. It's like getting up in the morning, brushing your teeth, watching your... Oh, I can't hear you. No, she disappeared, but I'm a fell in. No, go ahead, let her finish. Go ahead, let her finish. Cheryl, I didn't hear what you were saying. Oh, she no, she frozen. Oh, Cheryl, you're frozen for a second. Tita, yes, you can also drink coconut water. That's another thing that hydrates you, chocolate doll, coconut water. So thank you so much for bringing that in. Coconut so water. So what she was saying is like, if you're late or something in the days, I will call you. We'd be all in the live like, where's Tiffany? Where's she at? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, and that's when I'm like, all right, I'm going to text or and be like, I'm going to text. Yeah, we be dead serious about it. Um, but, you know, I haven't been on in a while. But you heard me say I can't lose my membership. I can't do nothing because I need y'all. Like, we are a support system. Anybody that's new to the Raw family since I've been gone. Hi, I'm Chocolate Dog. Y'all might have heard of me. You might not. I'm pretty sure y'all have. Uh -huh. And I did. Like this lady right here, this is a family, this is support, this is a team. You came to the best place. If you ever need anybody to reach out to, you can reach out to the inbox, you can reach out to the chat. We are here for each other. We really are. And we support each other. Thank and you. I'm so happy you're back. I'm going to answer a couple of questions. Chocolate Doll, you rock. I'm so happy you're here. We've seen your transformation in the TRFC, and you're a leader in the way that you show up. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> She was like I'm almost 300 pounds. Yes. How, what, was your heavy, what was your heaviest weight, Chocolate? 270 when I first started. Yeah. Yes. And now I'm down to 140 and I want to get some weight back. Yes. Okay. All right. So someone's asked the question, can we eat, do oats? Yes, we have oats on there. We have oatmeal that you can have. Don't get that instant oatmeal, right? Get your regular oatmeal, sprinkle your own cinnamon, sprinkle your own nutmeg on it. And if you cook it, if you cook the oats with chopped apples or with, um, berries it sweetens it's on its own and it's delicious right um then we have somebody was asking about uh 
club soda, no. Club soda, the bubbles does not support cleansing the body. It's like putting sugar in your gas tank. All right, I see Chaz with her hand up. Hi, Chaz, it's so good to see you. Hi. Face. Welcome. <laughs> I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and yeah. I actually found your video back when I was 19 years old. I was living wow. in Kennesaw, Georgia, and I used to always play your videos for like me and my sister. Um, just the whole, you know, the hip hop, the booty shaking, the, <laughs> the, the, the waist training. I think you did it with Lola. Uh, Lola? Remember? Yeah, Lola. It was like four girls in the background and one was Lola. Oh yeah, I don't know if it was yeah. Lola. But it was and Lola. that's my favorite one, I promise you. It, it really works for like the stomach, like the whole, you know, sit down, contract, sit down, yeah. contract. <laughs> <laughs> oh and I just God. always hear your voice and it's like you you are my motivation to keep me going like when I'm just about to give up you're like you're almost there yeah keep going, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> oh thank you I appreciate that it's so much. nice to see you 10 years later because like when I found you on Instagram maybe like a month ago I was so surprised because I didn't even think you did social media like wow. I never thought to ever look you up you know, and I'm so happy you said that. And I sourced that because I said to myself, I wonder what happened to all those people that used to follow me 10 years ago. And I'm hearing from two of you guys right now that you're still here and you're coming back. And I said, I want all the people who used to be with me before to be with me again. So thank you, God. Thank you for sending this message that you guys are coming back. Okay. I think Kelly had her hand up. And then Yvette. I did. I did. Hi, Kelly. I love you, girl. <laughs> Love you and I'm saying hi to all my FFF5. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So, I Tim, I mean, you know the movers are coming. I move next Monday. So uh, this week, I, uh, I, am, uh, I am moving, and I have a I have a freezer full of vegetables. So I was late on this call today. Is it raw? Because I really want to take this week to eat all of those frozen vegetables I have in my freezer. I hate wasting food. Yes, you can eat the frozen vegetables. Like, so not everybody has the vegetables available to them at all time. And by all means, if you cannot access fresh, do frozen. Fresh is better because the enzymes are live, but frozen is next best next to canned, right? So fresh is always best. And then frozen comes second because they freeze it with, you know, as much of the, uh, the natural properties as possible, but we lose the live enzymes, but it's still healthy for you and it will still benefit you. So yes, eat your frozen veggies, girl. That's okay. right. Knock them out and post pictures of what you're eating, right? And oh. you're glowing. And I know, girl, I have to move too. So everybody <laughs> hands up for Kelly because moving is something else. That is something else. Like it is the next level. Come on, we got to get through this together because oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Tip. Love you. I love you. Okay, who else? Any other questions? Um, that, yes, right. Uh -huh. um, really quick. So, um, I love what you build here. I love what you build out. Working with you, working out with you. It seems like a lifetime. Yeah. Uh, um, and it's beautiful. I'm glad I tapped in. So, um, since we've last seen each other, Miss Minnie Paws, as I call her, has decided to come into my life. Yes. Is she's the devil. But um, I'm a, we're going to figure it out. In saying that, as you know, everything sits in the middle. So with this, am I expected to, I mean, I know there are going to be results, but I'm going to have to continue this because it's really hard. And I, I work out, I walk every day. I, I've changed my diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the hardest part to lose. So um, I know we're not eating any meat. You have recipes because I love cabbage. I love zucchini. I pretty much love all the vegetables. You just create like this veggie plate. Yes, yeah, so you could do cabbage. You could do cabbage and, and plus that of the vegetable soup. Um, mm -hmm. You can do uh, any like grilled veggies. I think there's one you can do grilled veggies, you know, mm -hmm. with the California rice. You can do those kind of veggies, like all that. Vegetables are good. Cabbage is a little gassy. So you don't want to do that right when you're about to... Um, right when you are about to be at the end of the week, more than the end of the week. Sometimes it causes gas and then you get a little bit more bloated. Right, right. Let, let I, me speak, right. go ahead. No, and, and, and for me, it's just hard because you have us working out every week because I'm on set most of the days. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just try to tap in like, er, like somewhere in the middle of the day in my trailer. How, how long are your videos? 
So the videos on YouTube are going to be 20 minutes, right? They'll be okay. 20 minutes and you can do that. They'll be at nine o'clock. So if you, I want you to do the extra credit one today and okay. then tomorrow, if you can't make it at nine in the morning, then you can do it in the evening or whenever you have set, you can do that 20 minute workout for that'll be live on YouTube. Cool. Okay. So uh, protein shakes. No, listen, you'll be all right, Chaz. Listen, <laughs> let me tell you all of this marketing about protein shake, eat some kale, eat a lot of kale, eat a lot of broccoli, green leafies have lots of protein in them, right? We are cleansing right now. And those shakes, unless you can tell me the origin of every ingredient in that shake, I don't want you drinking it, okay? So there's a time for that, but right now we are cleansing. And we gotta be careful just cause something says protein on it doesn't mean that it's good for you. That's like marketing. I've been, listen, I've been in this game a long time. Thin, thin, fat-free, sugar-free, all these things that come up. Now it's gluten-free, like all these things that come up. Nothing beats Mother Nature. Nobody can touch her. Nobody can touch her, right? So you eat the foods in their whole natural form, you're going to be all good. Let me speak about menopause, okay? So I've been through, I don't even like to talk about it, but you know, I've been through it. I'm on the other side already. And listen, you guys, <clears throat> this is a fact of life. No one will escape it. So I say something, what you resist persists, right? What you resist persists. Like you're alive, you are a woman. If you wanna to continue to be alive, you're gonna go through menopause and get on the other side. Focus on what works. Thank God you don't have to have a period every month, right? And so, you know, focus on the good of it, right? You can have unprotected sex as long as you want. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm like, focus on not unprotected, but you have to worry about getting pregnant all the time. So focus on the good and listen to what I'm saying carefully. Like the more that you resist menopause, the harder it will be. And so we're in the story by a male dominated society that it's bad. It is not bad. It is a process of life. And actually in ancient African tribes, that's when the women after menopause got allowed to rise to chiefdom, right? Because your intellect soared right? You're not ruled by emotions. That's what they believe. So like, there's so many wonderful things about menopause. And I want you to start to focus on those. If you only focus on your exterior, that yes, you do put on a little extra weight in the stomach, then you devalue yourself. You devalue yourself. So there's just like a teenager, right? When the teenager goes through, I have one right now, right? Ups and down, highs and lows from the period. Like, do we make them feel like, oh my God, this is it? No, it's a part of life, right? When you get pregnant and you have mood swings and you know, you pee on yourself sometimes, it's a part of life, right? So same thing with menopause. There's things that are a part of life. Can you make adjustments? Let me tell you something, what I figured out about menopause and hot flashes. Eat sugar, get a hot flash. I've timed it, right? You eat some sugar, like one hour later, you're like, whoa, whoa, right? Don't, have, don't want any hot flashes, stop eating sweets, right? Right? And what else happens with menopause is people start getting lazier, right? They don't want to do stuff, right? They start stop going out with their friends and hanging out, you know? Other, their activities are like drinking and sitting around. So it's not menopause, it's also lifestyle too. It's lifestyle. And you can still consciously lose weight by eating the right foods, hydrating your body, loving on yourself through the process, right? Because the opposite of menopause is what? You check it out. So you get to go through this gracefully with love, right? And so it's just gracefully with love. You get on the other side, you'll be fine. And let me tell you something. I use, I use Queen Anne. I use Queen Anne. Stand up for me, Anne. Stand up, stand back. We, we need to see that cute little way. I've seen her in person. She's like a size two. She's cute as she can be, right? She started working out with me at like 81. She probably lost, I don't know, eight inches off her waist. Hello, eight inches. She's been through menopause. She's on the other side. So that's a lie. It's a lie that you can't lose weight after menopause. It's a lie right? So stop breathing. If you have two plants to water, one of my plants is like, I am good and great. And I am just an amazing queen. I'm going to get through this. I can create whatever I want to create. Or this is menopause. This is terrible. It's so hard. I can't do it. I'm sweating and I'm tired. And I... Which plant do you want to water? Whichever one you water, that's the one that's going to grow. 
Whichever plant you water, that's the one that's going to grow. So when your mind is, is watering a plant of a life that you don't want for yourself, cut off the faucet. Cut off the faucet and start creating your life with your thoughts, your beliefs, and your words. That's the key. That's the key. Speak life into what you want. That's why I don't even talk about, I don't even talk about it. Like, you know what? I noticed that, you know, I, my back fat, that was one that had me like, I was like, what? I was like, what? 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 Like this has never happened to me before, but I didn't go, oh, I'm like, okay, well, I means I get to do something about it, right? And, and to be honest, you know, when you go through menopause, you have a little bit more money. Let me just tell you, you eat a little bit more rich food. You dine out a little bit more. You, eat, you have more expensive lifestyles. So things change. So you don't, you start, it's your lifestyle that also contributes to that, right? Your lifestyle. When you go out with your birthday, you probably went in style. You get the best cream, you got the best meats, you get the best things. So that's your lifestyle. Look at that. Because when you're, I remember even when I was growing up with my sister and I, we used to go to McDonald's. We were in high school and we would catch the bus to bed. I swear to God, this is our thing. We'd go to Camp Beverly Hills and we would go to McDonald's and we were broke and we wanted to spend, get some money for the, for the sweatshirt. So we would split a grilled cheese and then, and no, the, the filet of fish, we would split it and then we would count the fries evenly, right? <laughs> and so that's what you, that's, that's how you stay skinny when you're younger right? Just remember, just pay attention to the lifestyle choices that you make when you're younger. Like you're eating less, you're on a budget. You get older, you're like, oh yeah, give me another one. Oh, bring it over here. Lifestyle, pay attention to that. Don't blame it on menopause. Hear what I'm saying, you guys, hear what I'm saying, right? Pay attention to everything that's changed. Any other questions? T Tiffany, before I lose my connection again, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I, really, <laughs> I apologize. I just wanted you to understand, you mean the world to us. Don't you ever, ever feel that you don't. We go into a panic. You could be a minute late. We're like, oh God, where is she? Is she all right? What? We're like, hey, hey, call her, call her. She, okay. Because it's you have, been, have become such a valuable part of our life and i'm starting to get emotional wait a minute <laughs> but you know it's like you get up you you brush your teeth you take a shower where's tiffany you you know what i mean you don't know and and for me to go out here and tell people i'm retired or 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 and they look at me and go wait a minute you look too young to retire that's because of you you got me working out every day every workout is different you i mean some days i'm like what in the world did she come up with that <laughs> you know you, and some days i'm like wait a minute how did she get you to we have so much faith in you you'll have us try things that we normally won't even try while we're exercising certain positions and stuff and i is it's like oh huh, i'm 60 and i can do that yeah. you know you make you are a vital part of who we are and not only physically mentally my mentality my spirit i mean i all day long i try to keep focus on the positive when the negative thought come, and that's because of you negativity come hit it with a positive such as like you say our friend menopause yeah. child no cycle don't have to worry about being pregnant yeah. don't have to worry about extra stuff with you just in case <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we love you i love you thank you oh, thank you so much yo 60 you sure don't look 60 i tell you that's one of the things you guys let me tell you something exercise is a fountain of youth it's a fountain of youth your whole life will change when you start working out no matter when you start it's never too late it's never too late like you will get younger, you'll get more agile, you'll be more, hey Janice, you'll be more positive. I love it. Like the ones that I have met in person, you guys, when you come to the retreats and you show up, right, it creates a bond like no other, like come to the retreats and stuff. I see Janice, I remember hugging Janice. I can see myself standing on the beach with Janice. I can see myself taking pictures with Janice. Like come to the retreats so that we can deepen this connection. Go ahead, Janice, what you got to say, babe? Yeah, Um. well, first of all, I didn't know the thing about the um, the sweets and menopause. So thanks for that. Oh, I really yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to monitor that. But I am I do have a I do have a wicked sweet, too. So uh -huh. I'm um, I do like for sugars. I use monk fruit. I don't think that'll be a problem. I'm hoping uh -huh. 
right? I'm asking <laughs> if I want anything that I would use sugar, I would use my monk fruit. So like, is that to okay? do what? To do what? To sweeten it. You know, like if I, if, you know, um, like, like my tea or something, you know, I might put, a, you know, put a, a little drop of monk fruit in there. Okay. Is that okay? okay. Yeah. Not during the cleanse, oh. not during the cleanse, but normally. Oh. We get, yeah. Okay. Well, we're oh. cleansing right now. We're cleansing okay. right now. So that means your mind gets to be stronger than your emotions. Okay. So, so what else? What else? Okay. My other question well, I, I, well, maybe you've answered this one too. I was gonna say, like, what about like I do like your like dark chocolate? Is that a no? You can have you can have like the dark chocolate. They say it has antioxidant properties in it, which I'm a chocolate lover, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. But however, <laughs> you can you can also notice that the sugar intake will never no, dark chocolate or whatever you will spark the hot flashes, right? Okay. Because what it does is it it spikes your your metabolism and you drop, right? It throws off your hormones. It throws off what's called homeostasis, the sugar. So, um, I mean, like, hey, when you reach your goals and you're happy and you know, and you and you're just maintaining, if you have a piece of dark chocolate every day, you're good, you know. Um, but just know that it does it does kick in the hot flash. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to say, I think you were talking earlier when everybody was, you know, chiming in about them fasting. I intermittent fast as well. And you were trying to think of um, the, um, I guess the English word for when you, when you, when you work out or, when, you know, when you exercise on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. autoph autophagy. autophagy, autophagy, it's Thank basically you. when your when your body eats itself, you know, yeah, it when you work out, when you work out on the empty stomach, it increases your autophagy. Um, and so, I mean, it, I mean, which is what intermittent fasting, which is yeah. one of the reasons why people intermittent fast to begin with. So if you do that on the empty stomach, it even, it even boosts your autophagy. So, Absolutely. I just, so you start using fat for fuel. So like mm -hmm. you eat and you have the carbs, then your body will use carbs. And if you don't have any carbs, listen, your body is always reluctant to burn fat. It's always like, oh God, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I got to work a little bit harder to burn the fat. It doesn't want to do that, right? So that when you, you, when you force your body, like when you're working out and you haven't eaten and your body needs fuel, you force it to break down the fat to use for fuel. And then it's like, man, okay. And then it'll get used to doing it. But it's like, you know, it's almost like, I tell you guys, when you want to go to the bank and, and say you're out of money in your checking account, you got to go in your savings account, you got a little bit of attitude, right? That's how your body feels about fat. It doesn't want to burn it. It'd rather use the food that you eat on a daily basis. If you want your body to burn fat, you got to stop what you're giving it on a daily basis to force it to go into the, 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 the savings account, which is your fat store, right? And so when you do the intermittent fasting for all of those hours that you're not eating, your body still needs, there's um, involuntary muscles, your heart, your brain, they need, they, you need calories in order to keep all that stuff going as well. You know, so it uses the fat to maintain your metabolism instead of regular basis. Okay, everybody mute. Any other questions, you guys? Tiffany, I want to say something. Yes, man, I, can, I can hear that that's Marilyn. <laughs> yep, that's me. I want to I want to introduce my friend Shay. She's from California. Francis for 10 years old. Hi, Shay. Shay. I see her now. Hi, Shay. Welcome. Yeah, yeah she's all Hi. Leaving. Hi. <laughs> Shay, yeah. what brought you? Everybody mute your room. Shay, what brought you here? Oh, well, I'm originally from Cleveland, and my mom had a, like an emergency, so I had to come and take care of her. So, okay. But so I grew up and raised in Cleveland, and then I went to college out in San Diego State, so stayed out there. Oh, good. So what brings you here to the challenge? Oh, I'm sorry. Marilyn, she does. We've been friends since we were 10 years old. Sorry about yes. that. Yes, yes. Marilyn, yeah, thank you for your leadership. Because listen, when you guys are doing well in your life, is it okay not to tell your oh. friends about something good? So like if you go and you go and you go to the store and you see a Gucci purse for half off, right? Some people are going to call their friends and some people won't. They want to be the only one with the Gucci purse, right? So when you are in shape, you call your friends and you let them know what you're doing to be healthy. Yeah. So thank you for that, Marilyn. And, and, 
And I expect to see you, Shay, on you. and popping. I expect to see you present you. and engaged, okay? Everybody Thank mute. Everybody Thank mute. you. Okay, Coach Z, Ziviago. You guys know this is um, another one of my way backs, okay? Ziviago Williams, my sister from another mister, also known as Z to me. I renamed her ZV, even though that's not her name. Everybody mute, please. Please mute. Sorry, I'm trying. Okay, go ahead, Z. So one of the things when I joined like many years ago that I found that really worked well for me, um, and I used to say this all the time in the TRFC, and that was if we work the plan, it will work for us. So what I learned was any anything and everything you created, if I follow the meal plan, like I literally followed it to a T. Whatever you said for me to do, that's what I did. I did the workout schedule and I literally, I think I had lost like, I don't know, 22 pounds in like two months or something like that. But I just wanted to say that to everyone, if you follow the plan, like if you don't have any type of restriction, like medication restrictions or things like that, but if you follow the plan and you do the workouts, it is going to work for you. I have not seen where someone didn't follow it and it didn't work. Right. It's just to say. All right. Thank you for that. And it's so true. If you follow the plan, the plan will work for you. Yvette was having a question. I'm just, I was going to type her in. She has to go, what do we do today? Everybody does an extra credit workout today. Do an extra credit workout today. It's, I'm just do one today and then start your food plan today. Take your before pictures, post it on the site, introduce yourself, right? And so that we all get connected. I see Lisa Brown and I, and I see her and I, I see you all the time. I got to hear your voice, baby. I got to say something to me because I see your name all the time and I love you for being here. So, so tell me something about you, Lisa Brown. Oh, hi, Tiffany. Uh, hi. Let's see. I'm 53, been married 24 years. Um, so I'm just um, getting into me. Yeah, my kids right. are grown and I'm, I'm loving this community. I'm, I'm getting my sexy back because of yes. you. you know, got, got me out here buying cute workout outfits yes. now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm yes. just, it's, it's, all, it's my time. It's yes. Oh, Yvette, I don't know if she's still here, but that's another thing, right? After menopause, yeah, hello, you. it gets to be about you, unless you're somebody like me who had kids at 45. It gets to be about you, right? So it gets to be about you taking, spending the money on yourself, caring for yourself, treating yourself. It gets to be about you. That's beautiful, yeah. right? I've been doing that for a long time, though, because my son graduates from college in May. Yes. But still, I mean, even still, though, he's in college. You still focusing on him, you know? Oh, I've been doing it, girl. You ain't good, please. We've been... I, I'm coming up on 33 years of marriage, so it's all yes. Good. Congratulations, congratulations. That's beautiful. So yeah, so now it gets to be about you and getting sexy. This is like we got to think about menopause as like the new uh, 20s, right? Because you're free. You know, in your 20s, you can do anything. Like you have your whole life ahead of you, you can plan. That's what happens after 50. After 50, you can start to plan and create your life and live it like you want. It's a beautiful thing. Just make that switch in your brain. How do you want to live? Okay, I see. I want to hear Jelena and Jessica, my J's, right? I want to hear your voice. I want to hear, and, and you guys look amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. You posted your I'm just, you guys rock. So you inspire me so much. Okay. And Chris Ann, I haven't heard from you either, baby. Don't you don't, I see you over there. I want to hear from you too. So go ahead, Jelena. I just want to tell you, I love you all personally. <laughs> you, you are the best. Without you, I, I think I can I cannot live without uh, exercising <laughs> and seeing your face and voice every day. Aww. Unfortunately, I have to leave because here is late. I have to make dinner. My boy has, my son has to sleep. Uh -huh. And I'm really happy for every challenge you, you do. Thank you for existing. Oh, thank enjoy. you. I love you. Thank you so much for sharing. And I'm feeling time. great. I'm fit, fierce, and fabulous. Yes, so. you are. Yes, yes. you are. Yes. All right. I love you all. Love you. Bye. Yeah, have to go. Sorry. Okay. Bye. It's okay. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this on on YouTube for the people to get motivated on the TRFC, um, so everybody can see it. I want as many people 
to do this challenge as possible. Like this gets to ignite everyone. That's why I did it for free. I wanna move out any obstacles and stories people have that they can't do it. I want everybody to do it, right? Everybody gets to feel good, especially with everything going on right now. Everybody gets to feel good, right? And to get go all in. So you guys, tell your friends, get them in. It's free. That's why it's free. Tell everybody. There's no obstacles, no impediments. Just do it with us, okay? All right, thank you, Jelena. Have a good dinner. All right, Jessica. Hello, Hi. I'm Jessica. <laughs> um, I'm here in Italy. It's evening now, just uh -huh. like Jelena. Uh -huh. um, so don't have much time because I have to go off to and do dinner, but here I am. Uh-huh. You excited about the challenge? Jessica, she's hard. Yes. She's always in it. You're showing up. You're a fierce raw star. And I just wanted to hear your voice. Everybody see you because the guys, these are the ones that show up every day on the live, right? Yes, I love the challenges. You. Yes, <laughs> I'm all for the challenges. <laughs> yes, good. Thank you. Thank you for putting your voice in here. Okay, Chris Ann, let me hear from you, baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chris Ann. I'm from Canada. And I've been working out with you for probably 10, 12 years. Wow. Not steady, off and on. On, I fall off the rails. I get back on it. <laughs> I fell off the rails. Now I'm getting back on it. Yes, you're back on it. And that's what's about getting people. Listen, life goes like this, right? But the more we stay connected, we roll together through it, right? So we right. roll together. So that's my, my objective is not that there would never be hills and valleys, but that we get to rock them together, right? That we get to rock them together, that thing called life, right? And when we do that, we're better. We are better because things are always going to come up. But when you have a crew of like-minded women who are in it, who roll with you, who support you, who lift you up through life's challenges, that's what it's all about. It's not about the destination. What does your journey look like? When you look to your right and left, who's there holding you high? Who's by your side lifting you up, right? This is life. This is life. Falling off, getting back on, this is life. Who is there for you through all of that? And that's what I want us to be for each other, you guys. That's the kind of team that I want to build. And that's how I want us to show up in the world as raw stars. Raw star is like, you bring the light. You bring the light. Be the light. Be the light in every circumstance, right? And that's my goal. My goal in the world is for everybody to be able to feel that. And if all of you guys showed up bringing the light wherever you went, because you feel so filled up from this experience, right? Imagine how different the play, this world would be. The impact that each and every one of you have singularly by showing up in your circle of friends, of work, and your family, and being the light. And in order to do that, you get to fill yourself up. You get to fill yourself up. All right, who's that? Cassandra Montoya. She's from Arizona and after nine years. Yes, she's back and committed. Yes, I love it. Oh my God, thank you, God. Listen, I tell you, I said, where are all my people from a long time ago? And you see evidence you guys are coming back. It's beautiful. I acknowledge that. Acknowledge your power. I brought you guys back with my intention. I set an intention that I said, I want my vibration to bring back all those raw stars from years ago. And I'm acknowledging that it's happening right now and I'm full of gratitude. I'm full of gratitude. So thank you guys for letting me know I am full. I am full and I acknowledge, you guys get to acknowledge your power, right? So when you say you want something and you get it, go, don't go, I can't believe, no, believe it, right? You created, I don't know why this happened, believe it. You created it. Right, so just step into your divinity, your divine light, right? And make an impact on this world by the way that you shine, right? Your vibration, your vibration will change everything around you. You can vibrate low or you can vibrate high. You can vibrate negative or you can vibrate positive. But whatever you vibrate, that's what you're gonna bring to you. 
that's what you're going to bring to you. Okay, so are we amped up and ready to go? Yes, are we fired up? So what I want from you guys today, I want you to do an extra credit workout today. Even though we normally don't work out on Sundays, I realize it's seven days. So if you're in Italy, if you're far away, I'm sure you can make it up next Sunday. I'm not going to make you do it this late at night, right? But well, everything's possible 100% of the time. You can do a 10-minute workout, right? So um, you can do a 10-minute workout, but do an extra credit workout that's on the schedule. Do that so that you can get fired up and pumped up. Eat according to the food plan. If you haven't done it, start right now for your dinner. Pick your intermittent fasting hours if you're doing that and stick with it. Don't be 10 to 5 one day, 12 to 8 the other day. You got to get sick with the same hours. Otherwise, it doesn't work. That's a plan. Same hours, right? And let your friends and family know that you're doing this challenge. They can be supportive of you and not, and not try and sabotage you, right? Because that happens too. Oh, come on. Just have this peek cake. It's Susie's birthday. Why are you going to miss her birthday? It's <laughs> okay. So let them know what you committed to and request their support, okay? Take your before pictures, put them in the challenge and say, I commit to completing this challenge with excellence, right? Say what you commit to. Set your intention right? Set your intention. And then be in community with one another. Post your food, post pictures, make it an exciting experience for everyone. That's why the challenges are fun when we do them together. When you look on there and you see some food and you see some people working out, you're commenting on the workouts and all that. That's what makes it fun. What else do we do? What else do you really do for fun, right? Come on. So <laughs> this gets to be our fun, right? This is where we get to get together and have fun. Okay. Any other questions before we sign out? Tiffany, I have a question. I'm sorry. I was like yes. an, an, an event. I couldn't talk earlier. Okay. Um, can we have mushrooms? Mushroom. I'm sorry if you said I couldn't, I couldn't hear. Yes, you can have mushrooms. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> you can have mushrooms. <laughs> and you're, you're a new vegan, right? New vegan. Yeah. Mushrooms are important to vegans, right? I found out yeah. I made some air fried, chi fr fried chicken mushrooms from that girl. I put the mushrooms and I yeah. put it like, like fried chicken. I put it in the air fryer. Very good. <laughs> Very good. You can put that over a salad. Okay, you guys, so we're going to end this. And so how do we reach our goals in life? Which you can apply this to everything. Actually, I want to share with you one quote, right? That I read. And, and I these are notes. Like when I do things, I take notes for myself. And sometimes I leave them around the house. And I found this note that I've written to myself from Dr. Joe Dispenza. And it was something that really stuck with me. It says, you can't create a future as a victim or worried or insecure. And, you know, as you guys know that I was struggling with the house and the car and I was starting to be consumed by worry, right? Mm -hmm. And I was being consumed by it. So I'm like, how can you create a future if you're worried? Because your future is, is what's happening for you in your present. So if you're worried in the present, you're gonna attract worry in the future. If you're insecure in the present, you're gonna attract insecurity in the future, right? So I was like, okay, so you get to give it up and realize that everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna water the other cup, that everything is gonna work out just fine, right? So you can't create a future as a victim. That means, oh my God, this happened to me and that happened to me and then this happened to me and oh Lord, oh help me. I mean, I don't care. Be a victor, not a victim. Be a victor, not a victim. Because like, I, listen, there's some people that you hear about their lives. You're like, dang, all that stuff happened to that one person. And that's because they were consumed with everything that was going wrong in their life. And they brought more wrong stuff to them. Because that's all they thought about. That's all they talked about is everything that happened to them and what went wrong and this and that. And then they brought it on because that's what they focus on when you focus on expands, right? So don't be a victim, worried or insecure. Here's the next one. To emulate the divine is to be divine, be invincible. And this is what I mean by letting your star shine. Letting your star shine. You are divine. You are your children of divinity. You can make anything happen. You are a bad ass right? You can do whatever it is you want to do in this world. You can do whatever it is. This little seven days, please. Knock it out the park. Knock it out the park. No excuses. Get it done, right? Command destiny and take your attention off your known life and put it into your future life. So when things aren't going right right now, don't put your attention on that. Put your attention on where you're going, what you're creating yourself, 
right? So everybody can be in a situation that sometimes it's not working out for them. But if you just stay stuck, right? You're not only stuck, you're going backwards because you're creating a future that looks just like your present moment, right? So this is what we get to do. We get to focus on what we're creating for our lives. How do we do that? What do I say every day? What is the best way to reach any goal in your life? Who has the secret answer? And <laughs> say it, say it loud, baby. Let me hear you. I got on mute. We're better together. Yes, we're better together. And then what are the tools? How do we do it? How do we move? I forward? rise to shine. You rise to shine. That's right. That's right. What else? <laughs> I'm fierce. You're fierce. Yes, you are. What else? Consistent. <laughs> Constant. 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 That means, that means Constant means, you know how people are saying, I fell off? When you're constant, you don't fall off. That's what constant means. It's a constant. You guys constantly eat, right? Eating is a constant. You wake up and you eat. Like you constantly go to the bathroom. You constantly sleep. These are things that you do constantly. It doesn't stop. You get to constantly work out, right? Consistent. So you can constantly work out every other week or you can be consistent with what you work with your workouts. That means that on the days when you don't want to do it, you show up anyway. That's consistency. Consistency. That means showing up for yourself, showing up for yourself, showing up for yourself. Commitment. Constant consistent commitment. When you're committed to something, that means by any means necessary. <laughs> committed, committed to your fit, fierce, and fabulous life. That's what it is. You're committed to be fit. You're committed to live fiercely. You're committed to be fabulous. That means get your cute workout clothes. Right? That's a fabulousness. Don't be showing up raggedy for your life. Don't show up raggedy in your own life. Okay, so I'm going to share... Um, Company of people. Before we go, I know it's already been an hour. There was something that just slipped my mind. I was going to say, uh huh. Anyway, if I remember it, I'll tell you later. I was talking about concept. I, I forgot what the last thing that I was going to say was. That, that's one of those things with menopause, right? Sometimes things just slip out. They just slip out. But that's all right, because guess what? If it's that important, right, it'll come back to you, right? So this is not that big deal. That means, like, you know what? Just chill and everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Okay, so um, we are now going to go into the chat. You're going to talk about how great the call was. You're going to encourage people to watch the replay because was it supportive to be on the call? Yes or no? Yes. 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 When it's supportive, some people might think, oh, I'm just going to do what I always do and jump into the challenge and miss all the information of the call. Unless they hear you guys go, hey, I was on the call. It was great, blah, blah, blah. They're going to be more likely to watch the replay and more likely to have the support that they need to be successful, right? Yeah, right? And so we don't rise to shine alone. We rise together as a team so that we get to support and uplift each, each other throughout this journey. Yes? Yes. All right, you guys. So let's get it. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. All right. Hey, Wendy. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Have a good evening, everyone. Bye. Bye.